Hi guys, it's Rana the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this question, I'll be going over question 106 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So they say X is uniform on 0 to 12. And we know for a uniform distribution, the probability distribution is equal to 1 over B minus A. So in our case, the x is the f of x is equal to 1 over b a, where the a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit. So that's going to be equal to 12 minus 0, which is just equal to 1 over 12. Then they say, um, given x is equal to x, this y is also uniform on 0 to x. And then using our formula above for uniform distribution, we know that f of y given x is equal to x is equal to... 1 over x. We also know that for conditional probability distribution, this is equal to the f of x of y divided by the f of x, the, condition, the marginal distribution of x. So then we can also say f of x y is equal to the f of y given x times f of x. So that means when f of y given x is equal to 1 over x, and f of x is equal to 1 over 12, then f of xy must be equal to 1 over 12x. And then, then this becomes a, not a very hard problem because we know the covariance formula. If you don't have this memorized, make sure you do. Covariance of xy is just equal to the expectation of xy minus the expectation of x times the expectation of y. All right, so then expectation of xy is just equal to Whatever the um, x and y range may be, we're just integrating f of x, y, right, times x times y. And so what would our range be? Well, we know x is, exists on 0 to 12, and we know y exists on 0 to x. So plenty of notes in, we get 0 to x and 0 to 12 of dy dx. Plugging in our f, f of x, y, we get 0 to 12, 0 to x of the x's cancel out, so you're just left with 1 over 12, y, dy, dx. Integrating terms of y becomes y squared, 1 over 24, where y is equal to 0 and x, dx. The outer shell still exists. So then this is equal to, if I plug in x for y, you get 1 over 24 x squared dx, because the lower limit just gives you 0. Then this becomes x cubed, in taking the antiderivative, 1 over 72, where x is going from 0 to 12. So then this is equal to 12 cubed over 72, which is equal to 24. All right, moving on, the expectation of x is just equal to the same range here and it's just f of x y times x dy dx so then f if f of x y is equal to 1 over 12 x the x's cancel out so you're just left with 1 over 12 dy dx so then if you're integrating with respect to y first there is no y so it's just going to be 1 over 12 y integrating from 0 to x so then keeping the outer shell here, 0 to 12, this is equal to 1 over 12, x dx. Then this, taking the antiderivative, you get x squared, 1 over 24, 0 to 12, so this is equal to, taking the upper limit, 144 over 24, which is equal to 6. And finally, the expectation of y, this is still has the same range, 0 to 12, 0 to x, but then instead of Multiplying by other value, we multiply by y, dy, dx. So then, unfortunately, nothing cancels out, so you just get 1 over 12x. And then y on the numerator, dy, dx, integrating respects to y first. So when you integrate in respect to y, the 1 over 12x is just a constant, so you just get y squared, 1 over 2, integrating this from 0 to x for y. Keeping the outer shell here, you get 1 over 12x, 1 half x squared, lower limit just gives you 0. So then this is equal to 
one of the x's cancel out and then we can put the twos together 2 and the 12 together so you get 1 over 24 and then the numerator is just left with x dx so then this becomes a x squared over 48 integrating from 0 to 12 this is equal to 3 so now plugging it back into our covariance formula this is again equal to expectation of xy minus expectation of x times expectation of y if xy is equal to 24 then this is 24 minus 6 times 3 so then this is equal to 6 our answer c if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye